Hi there, Pete here from Radio.co. So today we're going to look at linking Radio Boss with your Radio.co station. So first of all, to do that, we're going to go to djsoft.net and then we're going to hit on download at the top. For this example today, we're going to download Radio Boss. So we're just going to click download Radio Box. Once that downloads, we're going to click the launcher to run the install important information. And then we're just going to click click and next to install the program, which will install on the default location. Once that's installed, we're going to click finish, which will open up a radio boss for us. So as you can see, because this is a trial, we've got 147 users left, which allows us to use it for five hours. If you had a key, you could enter the key there or you could, of course, buy a version. But for now, we're just going to click continue. So now Radio Boss is open. What we're going to do, first of all, we're going to add some music. So I'm going to find the music I want and simply drag and drop it over here. Then we want to add my radio.co station. So to do that, I'm going to hit settings and then I'm going to go to broadcast and then I'm going to hit the little plus button, which adds an encoder. So first of all, we need the server ID. We can get that from our radio.co system here. So I'm going to click on topaz.radio.co, which is our host or our server ID. I'm going to click that, which will copy it to the dashboard. We're then going to paste it here. Then we need to add our port number onto the end of it. So we're going to add that now. And then our password is this password here. So we're going to click that to copy it. Then we're going to paste it into here. And then we're going to click OK. That adds the encoder. So now what we want to do is actually enable the broadcast. So we're going to click that so it enables a broadcast. So there we can click broadcast and enabled and that encoder itself is enabled. Then what we want to do is click OK. Now I'm going to start playing the music here. So that then that will then play away there. And then what we're going to do is click this little button here, which connects the live stream. You can see it's in broadcasting at the moment. Now, if we go back to our radio.co system, we'll be able to see this connection status change to live connected. We can already see here on the left hand side, it's now picking up the metadata of what these song titles are called. And now we can see there it's on air. This means I'm using Radio Boss and the automation system that Radio Boss has to broadcast live to my Radio.co station. Now, if I have finished broadcasting and I wanted Radio.co to pick up the system, I would simply hit the glow button here and then I would hit yes to that. That turns off broadcasting live to Radio.co and then Radio.co will go back into your dashboard. You can see that it's now playing a song from my dashboard and we'll see the connection status change to not connected. That means Radio.co is now broadcasting and Radio Boss is done. So then we can go ahead and stop the tracks. So that's how to install Radio Boss and use Radio Boss to connect live. As you can see, Radio Boss has great functionality, so it's definitely worth giving it a go. Of course, if you have any other questions, please do let us know by emailing help at radio.co. But until next time, take care and happy broadcasting. Hey, I'm James, founder of Radio.co. Before you go anywhere, I've got an interesting question for you. Do you know the difference between a radio station that launches and becomes very successful, gets lots of listeners and does very well, and a radio station that perhaps kind of doesn't launch very well and disappears within a few months, doesn't really get much attention. Well, I've put together a checklist which will illustrate to you in a very simple way the five key differences between radio stations that launch and do well versus radio stations that launch and kind of disappear. You can download your free copy over at radio.co slash checklist today. Find out exactly how you can make the most out of your radio station. That's radio.co slash checklist. Go and grab your free copy. I'll see you there.